Hey everyone, this is Bhargav Suthar and today we are uh, going to learn about uh, set theory. So basically this is the part one of the topic set theory. Now in this today's session we will discuss uh, basics of set theory and some of the operations on a set. So first understand what is a set. Now what do you mean by a set? So it is a well defined collection of objects is called a set. Okay, so objects can be anything. Okay, fine. For example, library, it is a set of books. Okay, uh, uh, second example, classroom, it is a set of students or it can be a set of uh, whatever. It can be a set of uh, chairs and so on. Okay, so classroom is a set of students or classroom is a set of girls or set of boys or set of chairs and so on. Now, uh, there are various methods for describing a set. So the first one is this roster method. Now, uh, it lists all the elements in curly brackets. Simple. It is also called a listing method. We need to just list all, uh, all the elements in a curly brackets. Now, for example, this A equals to 1, 2, 5 and 6. So, that's it. We are just uh, describing it in a curly bracket and just list it out. Okay, so that is a roster method. Now, the second method is set selector or set builder method. So, it is a set described by some property which characterizes all the elements of the set. Uh, for example, this uh, A equals to, we can say like this, set of all x, uh, this colon, such that. It means such that x square minus 3x plus 2 equals to 0. Uh, see, here we don't know what is the value of x. So, it is just, uh, uh, it is described by some property. Uh, uh, and it means that set of all x such that this x satisfies this quadratic equation that is x square minus 3x plus 2 equals to 0 and uh, what are the roots of this uh, quadratic equation and that is 1 and 2 okay so the, the answer is uh, in set form 1 and 2 and that is the roster method so this is the set builder or set selector method and it contains uh, some property uh, second example the set of all x such that this uh, x is in between or 0 is less than equals to x less than equals to 10 and x belongs to n. So we uh, here x is in between 0 to 10 and in addition x belongs to set of natural numbers. Okay, so how many elements will be there since uh, n does not have 0. So the elements will be from 1 to n. Fine. Now let us discuss some special sets. So n equals to set of natural numbers or set of natural numbers contains uh, the elements from 1, 2, 3 and so on. Okay, then Z. Z is set of in integers and set of integers contains this 0, 1, 2 and up and so on and minus 1, minus 2 and so on. Then this Q that is set of rational numbers. So it is a set builder form because we cannot uh, include all the points in a list method. Okay, so that is some property thing. So set of all x such that x equals to p by q form. So x is of the form p by q where this p and q both belongs to set of integers and also this q, this denominator does not equals to 0. So it cannot be this infinite. Okay, then r that is set of real numbers. So uh, the real numbers are of the form set of all x such that x equals to a plus b root p. Okay, where this a, b belongs to set of rational numbers and this p belongs to q plus. Now what do you mean by q plus? q plus means set of int, uh, rationals but the positive rationals. Fine. And last set of complex numbers. So that is uh, set of all x such that x equals to for, of the form a plus ib where this a and b both belongs to the set of real numbers and this i equals to square root of minus 1 and that is the complex numbers. Now, what, uh, let us understand what is a subset. So, let capital A and capital B be two sets. Okay. Now, if each element of this first set A is an element of B, then A is called a subset of B. Simple. And it is denoted by this symbol A is a subset of B. Okay. Uh, then, what is a proper subset? So, if A is a subset of B, so first A has to be a subset of B. And the number of elements in A and B are not same. So, if both the numbers are different, then A is known as proper subset of B. For example, see A equals to 1 to 5, 6 
and b equals to 1 2 5 6 7 and 8 now here you can see that the all the elements contains in b so that means a is a subset of b so subset example is done now what do you mean by proper subset so first it has to be a subset of b then then what is the second condition the number of elements has to be different so here you can see that here in a how many elements are there there are four elements and in b how many elements are there that means uh, six elements are there so obviously they are different so that means this a is a proper subset of b now what is uh, equality of sets so let us consider two sets so two sets a and b are said to be equal if this a is a subset of b as well as this b is a subset of a uh, so in short both the sets has to be subsets of each other so then we can say that this both the sets are same now uh, let us understand what is empty or null or void set so as uh, its name suggests empty means nothing it contains nothing so a set having no elements is called a null set or an empty set or a void set and it is denoted by the symbol phi or just simply this curly brackets now for example this set of all x uh, the set is set of all x such that x square plus 4 equals to 0 and x belongs to n it is an empty set how see x square plus 4 equals to 0 and also we have condition that x belongs to n now x square uh, if simply we have given this x square plus 4 equals to 0 then what will be the roots of this equation it will be x equals to plus or minus 2y so that that won't be an empty set but here the, the also the condition is x belongs to n so that means x has to be from natural numbers but i does not uh, belong to natural numbers so that means the set or the given set is an empty set or it contains no elements now let us understand what is uh, a universal set so a non-empty set of which all the sets under consideration are subsets is called a universal set so it is denoted by this symbol u capital u now what is an ordered pair so let capital a and b be two sets okay now let a belongs to a so let some a some element belongs to the first set and the second element this b belongs to the second set then if we combine this both the elements that is a b just bracket small bracket a b is called the ordered pair where this first element comes from first set and second element comes from the second set okay so where a and b are first and second coordinates respectively now what uh, what is a cartesian product so let capital a and capital b be two sets now the cartesian product it is set of all distinct ordered pairs in which the first coordinate uh, is from set a that is the first set and second coordinate is from the set b that is the second set okay so and it is denoted by the symbol this a cross b and uh, it is defined as set of all x such that uh, this ordered pair a b such that this a belongs to a and b belongs to b so just collect all those elements in which this first element comes from first set and second element comes from second set for example if we have this a equals to 1 2 and b equals to a b okay then what will be the a cross b that is the cartesian product so a cross b will be like this uh, I'll just take one so the one just fix one so 1 a 1 b so 1 a 1 b and in same manner fix 2 so 2a 2b now you can see that this left coordinates are from uh, from the first set that is a and this right coordinates are from the second set that is b so a cross b equals to this and it contains four ordered pairs note now see a cross b uh, is not equals to b cross a so that means it is not commutative we cannot change the order of uh, a cross b okay and the answer will be different and this is important now uh, what is a power set okay so let cat, uh, capital s be any set now set of all subsets of s is called a power set of s okay so it is denoted by the symbol p of s now for example uh, if we take this set a equals to 1 2 3 then this p of s equals to uh, that is a power set of s now how to write a power set of s that means set of all subsets just collect all the subsets of the given set okay now power set of s contains the empty elements first um, empty uh, then the singleton 1 singleton 2 singleton 3 then the set containing two elements that is 1 2 2 3 1 3 and last uh, itself so that means 1 2 3 
Now note, now if a, a set S contains n elements, then its power set contains 2 raised to n elements. So that means we have the formula that how many elements will be there in the power set of a uh, given set. So as you can see that here uh, uh, it was a equals to 1, 2, 3. So it has to contain this 2 raised to 3 elements. That means 8 elements. So uh, you can count it, they are 8 elements. Okay. So uh, any set containing n elements, uh, its power set contains 2 raised to n elements. And this is important. Now let us discuss what is a Venn diagram. Now see, the relation between sets uh, can be conveniently illustrated by certain diagrams and they are called Venn diagram. In Venn diagram, what we'll do, a universal set can be represented by a large rectangle, okay? And the subsets of this universal set are represented by circles enclosed by the rectangle. And we will use this uh, Venn diagram uh, to understand operations on a set in next session. Thank you.